Good on uh, 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 my name is uh, Matthew Namitor. Uh, most people call me Matt. I'm called Cook Islander and uh, I have mild CP, hemiplegia and diplegia. I was born with my legs coming out first. I think I had the cord wrapped around my neck as well and so it caused me to have cerebral palsy due to lack of oxygen to the brain. Uh, we are young in primary and uh, kindergarten it's, it was difficult just trying to fit in, uh, knowing where your place is. It is what it is, you know. Kids are kids. They don't understand what your issue is or your disability. They don't know any different. I know from personal experience, the culture over there was like, um, coming from the Cook Islands, like I was sick or I'm a curse to, to the family. Um, not really a blessing at all. Pacific family in, in general, they hide their disabled um, family members. Um, I think they're scared of what people will say about them. I think some other cultures, they think uh, it's a curse as well. Um, but um, I don't see it that way. I'm, I'm more like a blessing. I'm a, I'm a blessing to everyone. Uh, what inspires me would be my mum, first and foremost. My mum just treated me as normal. She didn't do anything different to what my, my brothers and sisters were getting. So I, I was like the, just the older brother. She's the one that brought me up and um, that's why I got a hard head. She taught me how to be independent. I just watched her and when I was a kid and now 36 years of age, I'm, I'm doing things I don't normally do on my own. So I'm pretty proud of that. My working life is pretty busy. Mostly it's not paid work. I've got a main job for that, so I'm a support worker. So I support the disabled people uh, working on their goals in terms of um, what they want to do in their life. Be, be more independent, um, like getting a driver's license or just uh, learning how to catch the bus, which is quite hard for some people. What other things inspire me is seeing other uh, disabled people achieve their, their goals, their aspirations in life. That pushes me as well. I always have to hit the gym. Uh, it's more like a mindset thing for me. Uh, I've been hitting the gym since I left school, so it's nothing new to me. It's like my second home, being at the gym. So, and it also helps with my uh, depression as well. I love my rugby league. I love it to death. It was one of my goals actually to play league. I've been playing league for three years. First two years was a physical disability rugby league. Then I um, slowly moved on to um, playing for All Tata Scorpions uh, Master Squad and there's a bunch of other disabled people that also play, girls and guys. We're pretty much like brothers and sisters in our team and we're just loving it. The experience has been good, good morale, good people. I love the physical contact, I love it. Probably that's why I got awarded the um, Man of Steel, so people call me Superman <laughs> for short. So. The message uh, I want to get out there is um, more talks around the, uh, at the table with the family, getting your disabled kid or adult involved as well. I know uh, communication will be a barrier for some of these families as well. Some of the disabled people I work with don't have any communication in terms of speaking wise, and they can only communicate through an eye gaze or um, if you show them a picture, a yes or no but you have to educate the family as well as the, the community out there what we can do to promote disabled people not just disabled people in general but uh, Pacific disabled people uh, they're more uh, whakama or shy you know about talking about stuff like that and uh, keeping them motivated like there's a reason to be here they were brought on this earth for a reason and I, and I truly believe that we are here to open up people's eyes, just just achieve and achieve and move forward. Um, all you want to do is be, um, uh, give your child the best opportunity in life.